Citadel's Ken Griffin, who we were just talking about, uh, this is a different story. He's suing the IRS over what he calls the unlawful disclosure of his taxes. Robert Frank has that story for us. Robert. Good morning, David. Ken Griffin's lawsuit claims the IRS and Treasury illegally disclosed his tax returns and failed to safeguard taxpayer data. The suit stems from ProPublica's secret IRS files. Those use tax returns from an anonymous source to expose the low taxes paid by billionaires. Griffin saying in the lawsuit the IRS, quote, willfully failed to establish adequate administrative, technical, and physical safeguards for the IRS's data, and then unlawfully disclosed those materials to ProPublica. The articles revealed that Griffin earned an average of $1.7 billion a year between 2013 and 2018, and that he paid an average tax rate of over 28 percent. That made him the second highest taxpayer in the country. ProPublica's main focus on Griffin was his campaign to defeat its state tax increase in Illinois. The IRS Inspector General and Justice Department have been investigating the potential IRS leak for over a year. But House Republicans are frustrated at the lack of reports or updates on those investigations. Griffin saying in a statement, quote, the IRS deliberately stole the confidential tax returns of several hundred successful American business leaders. And guys, no comment from the IRS or Treasury. You got to wonder if other business leaders might follow suit on this one. And I guess that raises the question, have we seen anything like this in the past? It is rare to see a lawsuit against the IRS. They happen sometimes. Sometimes people even win, but they are rare, even rare for a high profile billionaire to do it. So, so far, he's the only one of the hundreds of people whose returns were exposed and who were written up in that series. We'll see if anyone else follows suit. Morgan. Robert, thank you. Uh, Robert Frank.